Hello there and welcome back. In this video series we are going to get familiar with the gevent uh, uh, module of Python. So gevent is uh, basically a coroutine based Python networking library. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, install it and we will take a look at some examples. So let's jump right into it. I have my code editor open and what I would like to do is to create a virtual environment and by the way I am using Python 3.7 as you can see it and we would like to create the hello world dot py so what would be a good hello world example what we can do is basically the following. Uh, <coughs> we could create a coroutine based uh, small Python script which would uh, pull a web page and see how the output goes. So let's get back to the console, uh, activate the virtual environment, and pip install g event and requests module. So once this is installed, what we can do here is to import from the g event the monkey modules and import g event monkey patch all and import the requests module. So first we need a list of websites or URLs and let's do it this way. One is going to be the google.com. The second one is going to be the apple.com. Just a second. And the third one is going to be python.org. So now, after we have done that, uh, we could create the response function. And this is going to take a URL. And what we would like to do inside this function is that we print out that we are working on URL and print the response which would come from the request that get URL equals URL. And uh, how do we use gevent? So basically what we need to do is to create the jobs. This is going to be a small list. And basically we use the gevent to spawn a function with an argument, so the response with the URL for URL in URLs and after that we can use the wait to wait for these jobs to complete. So now if we go back to the console let's clear it and start the hello world.py. As you can see we have uh, the response from there and if I go ahead and comment out the monkey patch I see what is happening. So basically uh, it removes the coroutine feature. That's why we need to use the monkey patch all. And the second one is that we could create a sub process. So hello sub process dot py and here what we would like to do is to import from the g event the monkey and monkey patch all and import the g event and the sub process so sub process is a python module that allows you to basically uh, spawn uh, sub processes. <laughs> and what we would like to do here 
is to create the commands array and inside this commands array we will have two commands first one is the system info this is a windows command that gives you information about current system like environment variables process or memory whatnot and ipconfig slash all now what we can do is to create our async commands and we will pass uh, command as an argument and print the following performing command and we print out the command itself then the std out and the std error variables are going to be populated by the subprocess p open command and then print the standard output of this command the std out decode now uh, we can use the results or rather result and use a g event spawn async commands with the command for command in commands and we use the g event wait result now if we go back we can use the python hello subprocess and you can see that it was uh, done with the coroutines so basically here is what the output from there is and uh, what could i show you so uh, another thing that Gvent supports is uh, pseudo threads. So pseudo threads.py and we can import Gvent and g is equal to gvent.spawn 1 slash 0 g.join gvent sleep 3 and we use the pseudo threads and basically this is how you can create a pseudo thread with the help of gvent if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe more for more see you in the next one